are live from the farmhouse today. We will go live every Thursday and we show you what's new in the shop and on jrbhome.com. Mariah is on here dropping links. So if you're watching that replay, make sure you hit the live chat. So that way you can see the links, see what's going on and get all the inside jokes because there's always something funny that goes down when we're live. <laughs> yeah. When you come on, say, hey, tell us where you're from. Um, and you can go ahead and ask questions about what we're gonna show. And also today, when we're done going through what we've got for display on the table, I'm gonna do a little like mini home tour. I'm gonna show you my shelves have been restyled um, as well as on top of my um, hood range over here. I can show them that right now. No, no, we'll do it in a little bit. We gotta, they gotta stick around. Later. Later, and Stay buffet. Tuned. And we're gonna try not to show you the mess that's on the opposite side that I haven't got to. So if you're new here and you love hauls, home decor, farmhouse, DIYs, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me pull up comments here. So one of the coolest things, it looks like Jamie has found somewhere to source French butter dishes. And they are, they're actually the original Butterbell company. Um, they are lead free. And this solves the debacle of how you take care of your butter on the counter to keep it spreadable. Um, for best results, replace water in the base with fresh water every three days. Holds up to one stick of butter. With proper use, butter stays fresh for two to three weeks. Fresh. So this, And spreadable. Yes. Yeah, super excited about this. I've been looking for a long time to try to find one that was a good price point and that's not going to be less expensive somewhere else. And so I found these. And this one is the, um, so where's the box for this? It's got the price point on it. Did you toss the box? Um, the $26.95. Okay, but which cup? This is the mint aqua one. And this one actually says beurre, which I learned in France. That means butter. And you know why? Because I was always asking for beurre and lait, butter and milk, because that's, I live, obviously I like cows. I live off a of dairy here. Um, and this is a really pretty, this is like a stoneware type one. And then this one is like that a one. deep, deep navy. It's cobalt. It almost looks black, but I promise you it's a deep, deep cobalt. Christy is obsessed with that one. She's actually going to get that for her house. So if you want a really deep cobalt, like think if Blue Iris and Little Back Dress had a baby, it would be this cobalt blue. It's just a really deep, beautiful, it would match well with some of the cobalt uh, fiesta wear and stuff. And this one is in English, so this one says butter. It says it on both sides. I know, but... Oh, it's English and French. I didn't realize that. Is this one too? Yep. <laughs> oh, well the picture just in this one just shows it. It's bilingual. Look at us. It's got you covered. Hooked on Jamie Ray worked for me. I learned French. Burr, butter, late, milk, or a lay or something like that. <laughs> Everybody's saying hello. Lisa says, I have a butter dish like that and I love it. Just make sure to change the water. Ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Leeson. Thanks. Keeping it beachy likes my photo. We sold these a while back and we sold out super quick. I haven't been able to uh, find them, but it's still one of my favorites. Okay, so we're showing these again because we get them, they go out of stock, and then we get them, and they go out of stock, and then we get them, and they go out of stock. So this style here so of this, the metal like lace. Yeah, so this is the tin Roman, Roman lace, and then that one, if you look on the tag, it'll tell you what that one is. Um, this one victorian victorian so here's the new style can you show them that one this one is a couple bucks less expensive because it's not as tall but it's still 15 feet long um and this is a new style of metal lace let me show you the difference between the two joe we don't have any jade colored butterbell crocs but i will look and see if they carry that one that'd be so cute if they match my salt and pepper shaker you guys can see they're like on the back we'll give you we'll show it to you up close here in a little bit Oh no, Emma Lolly said the city's main line busted on our street. We went without power all day Monday, most of Tuesday. It got better on Wednesday and so far only one busted pipe. So my friend Sarah has been having to use her pool um, to flush their toilets and they made a makeshift shower situation because they haven't had running water, but they do have power. So things are getting a little bit better in the south, but I know that you guys are still have a long way to go. So. Yeah, it's been real bad. And uh, you know, no one can even like stores don't have food and you can't even get stuff shipped because it's like all on delay. You know, not like weird, but one of the things that we've been thinking about doing that we're going to be doing this spring is some homesteading and some prepping. So we're going to have some really good videos coming up showing you guys how to prepare for weather, crazy world stuff. I mean, look what happened with toilet paper like a year ago. 
So we're gonna have that coming up here pretty soon. All right, yellow painted sheep hook, $14.95. They're all just a little bit different because they're hand painted. Is the bottom cast iron? The bottom is, uh, I think it's just metal. It's just okay. tin. So it's yeah, it's just regular cute. like wrought iron is what it is. I love the hand painted detail on it. Yep. Um, this is uh, bought from the same company that we get our sheep pillows from that are also handmade. Um, so you want to show those next? Yes, but hang on. Someone asked how the butter works, so I'm going to show oh, okay. you. There is, There are the directions right there. So the top just sits down in the water and the butter just hangs out there in the bottom. Keeps we it like nice live, and fresh. We like to live on the edge. Our butter is located on the back right we next to the We eat it eggs. fast enough. It's not yeah. going bad. <laughs> we ain't keeping our butter for two weeks. It's like a stick a day around here. Okay. Um, what else did you, what did you, oh, we uh, were showing pillows. Yes. So we already sold one of these and I have one. So there's only two of these left. Hence the reason we called this the textile video. We got lots of stuff like these this. These are hand embroidered linen pillows. These ones do come with an insert. Um, I'm gonna wait till Mariah brings up um, the listing because this one doesn't have a tag on it because this is my personal pillow from my couch. <laughs> it's super, super cute. Um, I think it's like $42 if I remember correctly. It's kind of bougie, but it is handmade and that would explain why. Perfect all these spring. little knots. Think about somebody's little hand tying them. Oh, $41.95. That's how much this one is. Thank think you, Mariah. It's perfect for spring. It's about to be lambing yeah. season. It's about to be lambing season. You guys know we have some lambs on order, so we're super excited about that. Um, let's go to this next one. Mariah, can you look this one up for me too? Now, this one is just the cover, and it's bigger, it's taller. It takes a 16 by 16 pillow. Does not come with insert. Does not come with insert. Again, this one is, the other one is more linen, and this one is more... Uh, like a canvas. Canvas, yes, thicker fabric, um, handmade. They've got this embroidered little, like al almost like a uh, terry cloth, but long. It reminds me of like a really soft like towel. Yeah, and this one is thirty-eight ninety-five. Does not come with the insert, but it's bigger. It's probably twice as tall, um, and it's got those two sheep on it. And it's super cute. I know these are a little bougie, and I almost didn't buy them because they were spendy, but they were really really cute. And I was like, I'll get some other good deals. I'll make up for these, but I know that there's people who love sheep as much as I do. All right, so let's talk about the little pails in the room. So we have three. We, we showed you a bougie item, now it's time for the budget. So these are like the big, tall French pails that we carry, but they're little. These I think are perfect, you guys. If you guys have grandkids that you're sending little presents to for the holidays, you know, for Easter coming up, this would be so cute to send with a little like chocolate bunny and maybe some crayons or something because they're pretty small little buckets. Um, and they'd also be cute for like storage of your like art supplies, like colored pencils. Don't let Odelia see these. She'll want to grow succulents in them. Or you could grow succulents. They are $5.95 and they do have a wooden handle on each of them and they come oh, yeah. in pink, white, and the light blue aqua color. The little wooden handle there. Okay. So we've had these before, but they must have been out of stock. Yep, these are back in. These are our Rustic Roses hooks. Super cute. I think they're $9.95 if I remember correctly. Um, this one doesn't have a price on it's it. Christy tag. didn't get the, this particular box priced before I left, but they're beautiful. Well, I love the box them. came in last minute, didn't it? Very romantic. They come that rusty color, but you could also paint them and I think that they would be cute. Yeah, so. I kind of like the rustic, you know, so farmhouse is going two ways a little more clean right now um kind of on the industrial side and or it's going really rustic that to me is romantic and a little bit granny chic yes granny chic is a thing that's why we oh. have a new decoupage paper called la mommy floral our retailers are starting to get their decoupage paper i've been getting text all day oh my gosh this paper is beautiful i was like <laughs> yes it's been very exciting around here um, yeah, Mariah and Ty are going to be over here as soon as um, we're done with this live video. So Guys, I'm about to show you what might be the coolest item of the day. <laughs> I want you to contain yourself. And I don't how many of these did you get? I don't know, like 12. It says 12 comes in a case. Okay, well, you know, trigger finger on the mouse. All right, one, two, three, go. It's a turtle planter. It's a cement <laughs> turtle planter. 
If you guys didn't know, turtles are all the rage, especially among the high school kids that love to plant things. You guys probably noticed in Odelia's most recent room tour that she had her own little succulent and aloe and her own fiddle fig plant. Um, indoor plants are really popular and they love turtles and so I bought this one because I thought it was so cute. I like all the detail on it. I don't feel like I was showing it close enough. I don't, Zeb's obviously, Zeb, Zeb also likes turtles. There I we go. And Zeb. There we go. Turtles are awesome. So this one is $10.95 and it's gray and almost looks like it has white wax on it. So it's kind of fun. Shows off all the detail. Um, we do ship, you know what, I don't know if we ship to Ireland because of Brexit, but you can email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and Caitlin can let you know. We've been having issues with the new tax laws over in that area of the world. And so there are certain countries that we have not been shipping to, but we're working on it. All right. So next. What's inside of that? Wait so this it. has an awesome clasp. If you've got, if you need to lock up your treats, this is your canister. Who locks up their treats? I'm just saying, maybe you have people taking your particular treats Speaking tonight. Of which, where did you put those cookie at? cookies that actually dropped off? Did you hide those? Like I said, I might need to lock up my treats. All right, well, let's, oh, there's- If you got food. roommates eating all your food, this is your canister. Turtles and sometimes and the it. roommates are roommates you created and they eat all the goodies and then you wake up in the morning and you're like, hey, what happened to my brownie? So ironically today, people know cookies are the way to our heart. Mariah came to the shop for the first time since she moved here because she is now in charge of wholesale shipping. So she was sending decoupage paper. She brought a big old thing of cookies. And then we just hired Caitlin's cousin, Ashley. She's like my cousin-in-law. And Ashley came over today to eat lunch with us and she brought us cookies. So we got cookies twice today. Very exciting. And Zeb has hidden Ashley's cookies. You guys. We're gonna have to have a cookie off, like eat Mariah's cookie, eat Ashley's cookie. These are like nesting doll canisters for treats that you can lock. Three sizes. Yeah, Mariah, grab those cookies, bring them back. Oh, and Mariah, I have your pan from the breakfast burritos. So, um, Jane says that her, her mother hid her treats and told us her kids not to touch them. If you go into our closet, you know, the one we just made all pretty, you can walk in right now and you're going to find Kit Kats, King Size, and Peanut Butter M&Ms. Those are his treats. Ooh, I love the Peanut and Butter And in my M &Ms. nightstand is all the sour candy. And today, uh, Jonah was over here and I'm like, Jonah, you want to know a secret? And I opened it and I was like, you can have this candy if you only eat one at a time and you don't tell your brother. <laughs> And Jonah thought that was the best thing ever, that he had a secret because he knows where Aunt Jamie's sour candy is. Hang on, i got to put these back okay. together. So these does one really price cute. buy all or do they come separate? One price buys all. I'm waiting for Mariah to drop. Oh, here it is. $46.95 for the set of three enamel canisters. Right now, they only come in this light pink color because I just had to have it. I was thinking, like, in my mind, this would be so cute in a nursery. No. So I need to add, we have a couple baby girls coming, so we need to find out what colors are in there. But they also would be cute if you had like a pink. I know a lot of people do pink in their kitchen, they do pink in their bathroom, and it's really hard to find cute pink enamel. So I wanted to carry that because I like to be a little different. So I'm the oldest of six kids, right? We've established that I came from a big family. Um, I feel like it's a medium-sized family. Like eight or nine kids, that's a big family, right? It's just from six. We only have five. <laughs> but I would get, my mom would get ice cream bars, and I would always go in after everybody had had their ice cream bar that they got allotted, and then I would sneak a couple and put them in the back of the freezer, back behind like the peas or something someone was going to eat. Shh. But... I always had treats later. Now, you had to be sneaky about eating the secret ice creams because if any of the other siblings caught you, it was Dunsville. You had to share with everybody or what would happen is you would get your special treat that you hid taken away. I was raised all by myself and I always shared all my treats all the time with anybody that came over, but that's because we never had the law of scarcity. There is always lots of treats and that's how our house is. We got treats for days. Ain't nobody needing to hide treats. Harrington just came over and he's like, good grief, I can't come in this house. I'm going to gain 10 pounds just walking through the door. And he left with two jumbo hot dogs. All yeah. right. <laughs> so here is one of the new bags that we got. This is the crossbody cotton rug bag. It's $49.95. Um, you know, we had those big ones that were like 80. And so I ordered these. These are all one of a kind, unique bags. They are leather, handmade from Papillon and they are all rugs. So this one is D. We only have one of D. So I'm going to show you all the one of a kinds. 
They come with this strap and I love it because it's got the belt buckle. It's got like the worn age look and this is D. And all the bags are free shipping. So $49.95 includes the shipping. Um, Jen Dunn, that's how Zeb grew so big with his extra food. If I grew big because of the extra treats, then my brother Ty, my little brother Ty, must, must have been, been hiding world, even more treats. Another cross. He's about four <laughs> inches taller and outweighs me by about 15 pounds. This is the new style of crossbody rug bag. This is, hold on, we're not, we're not onto that. Oh, sorry. Drop the bag. Sorry, cross we got style. B. Hold on, but this one's important. B has, look at the bottom of that. It almost looks like the Bohemian transfer from IOD. And this one, Zeb is displaying for you, has the little, it's like a satchel top. And this one just has the strip. So there's two different ones. And that one has no butterfly on the front. And this one has the Papillon logo, but they all have the This um, has the butterfly straps. on the back. Yeah, so this one is B, $49.95. I really love the leather clasp on this. I knew you would. Zeb's a sucker for leather bags. That leather bag, that satchel. Well, it's got, like a, it's got like a, bra a bronze or brass, I think it's brass little uh, pin down here and the leather just kind of fits right over that. All right, I gotta show you close. These are all one of a kind. This one is actually slightly bigger, it looks like. This one is A. All right. This one is A. This one does not have the pink on the back. It is all um, black and cream. And so this is the one there and they uh, they have like little bag situations that can worse I know there's another one there's so the don't they make this from like recycled fabrics mm -hmm. and things and oh here's the other one is yeah that, so these are, these are and vintage rugs that's why they're all different so this is the same style as the other one this is C so mm. this one has the not the butterfly in front it has the butterfly just on back but it has the little satchel front and this is floral actually looks kind of like peonies let me Put the, can you put that one together? Yeah, these adjustable straps are great because. Carla says you're awesome. Jane says those are gorgeous fabric. Um, I got a few people last time that were like, hey, what about us that can't carry heavy bags? So the nice thing about a bag this size is you can fit the essentials, but you're not putting crap you don't need in it. And they are great crossbody bags. So these are fun. We have four of them um, and they're $49.95 and they're all one of a kind. So I love, love, love Papillon. Every time we get them, they sell out. Amazing brand, love the owner. All right, now let's show the rest of the bags. We've got this another, this other bag. This is the Anais Brown Oiled Waxed Handbag. Again, everything on these handbags, when you see where it looks like leather, it is leather. So this is a waxed canvas. What I like about this one is it has feet on the bottom. This one though, the, the, if you're watching this, Mariah, <laughs> this one has to go out of stock. We'll sell oh, that one missing, at a discount. It's missing a little foot. It's missing a foot. So foot I'll, discount. I'll call the owner, but we've got more to have the feet. I love the feet on them. It's got this little part right here. This says be the change. It's got a pocket on the back. Can you show them the insides up? Yep, we're getting to that. That's okay. why I'm, I've assumed a position here close to the camera so I can get my Vanna on real good. Wax canvas. So what it is, is it just kind of, it's almost like it treats like oil wax. I don't know. And it's not waxy feeling, but they treat it. You got a couple little pockets little over here. I love stripes on the inside of any bag. Hey, Diane, there's... welcome to our channel. She says she's new here. And Mimi says, hello, made it to another live. Okay. <gasps> yeah. So this is a little bit bigger bag. This is the biggest bag we carry. This one is $104.95. This is the tote bag. This is and like carry-on size okay. if you needed to have like an overnight carry-on. Yeah, so that's the weekender bag. And then we also have the backpack that matches it. Um, and it's a $72.95. It's the Jean-Paul Jacquard. The fabric is Jacquard. And we have it both in the backpack and the weekender so bag. So we showed that one before, but it's sold out. So it's back in stock back if you've been stock. waiting for it. So real big in, inside. These are the bougie bags. And then it's got two pockets here. And then right. the pocket on the inside. They keep it pretty simple, but very utilitarian, um, very usable bags. So these are the ones that sell out every time before the show is over. These are the auger bags, $66.95. They have the feet on the bottom. Zeb's gonna show you the inside. We've got it in the brown and this dark olive color. Very I like, well made. I like the, uh, the leather tag, but the big heavy zipper on the front too. 
And I believe, yep, these open up so you can get a little extra space in the mm -hmm. corners there. Industrial kind of buttons in here again, be the change. Leather, I love it when they have these leather little details on there. Again, you've got a ticking stripe inside, a pocket in here, lots of great space, but also organization. I hate when it's just a black hole without extra spaces to put things that you don't want to get lost. So we have the, um, I think that one is camel colored. And then this one is the dark olive. And these are the auger bags. Again, last time. I like the dark olives. Last time we sold out the same day and so I reordered. So hopefully you guys, if you've been waiting, um, just a little tip. If you ever like click on something and it says sold out, click email me when back in stock. Not only do you get emailed when something goes back in stock, but um, it, I can look on the back end and see what people love. And it just really helps me to reorder because sometimes we sell out, we reorder and then everybody that was interested already bought it. And sometimes we sell out and a million people want it. So then I know how much to reorder That really helps. Keychain? Yes. So this is our whimsy collection. It's a little floral sheep. All of our jewelry is free shipping. Um, and that is a keychain, and that one is $14.95. Yes. This is a small little um, female owned uh, business, and it's called Whimsy Spirit. I found them, and you guys know that I love farm animals, but to me, yes, they're $69.95 for the auger, or $66.95 for the auger bags. To me, I like them to be classy too. So that one is our pig in antique bronze of $16.95. And then it's got the cute little floral. And these are domed, so they're not just straight. I love the domed glass because it's it kind of vintage inspired. It gives them kind of a inspired. 3D effect. Um, and then we want to show them the chicken. Yep. They have a very like vintage -y look to them. And then of course, I had to get a sheep because we all know that I'm kind of obsessed. Um, and I, I don't like farmhouse jewelry to look like a barn. I like it to look like, until you look up close, you can't really tell, is that a farm animal? Is it just a cute floral? So this is the sheep in silver. Yeah, the sheep's in silver. Is it real silver or is it just? Um, the bag should be in free shipping, Mary. So if for some reason it shows with shipping, just email info at jamierevintagehome.com and we'll take down because the bags are in free shipping. So is the jewelry. Thank you, Barbara, she said share this video on her Facebook page. Sheep are her favorite. Mine too. If you guys are resellers, I shouldn't share this tidbit with you, but anything sheep, hot. Hard to find in like the big box stores. So if you're a boutique and you can carry an item that is sheep or lamb themed, carry it because so cute. People love them. All right, let's talk about joggers. We restocked the camper joggers. Already sold a bunch of pairs, so if you've been waiting for the camper joggers, definitely get those. And then look what we got, leader dogs. She said they were coming last week and here they are. Here's the wiener dogs. These are all in plus size. I specifically bought those for Caitlin's sister, Desiree. She has two little wiener dogs. They were my first nephew, um, nephew dogs. Duster and I kind of not remember the other one. Boomer, no, Duster I think already passed. Boomer and then Otis, Boomer and Otis. There we go. Can we get the elephant joggers in regular size? I will try, Donna. You know what happens sometimes? Sometimes they only offer them in the one size and that's what I get. But for you, I will look. Let's show the elephant ones. Okay. That's a fun, so those are good colors. So the 1X is the same as an XL. So if you ever wanna buy joggers and you're like, okay, they don't have the 1X or they don't have the XL, same size, it's just the way they run. So those are the elephant ones in plus size. And then we were, by popular request, they said, please get some florals in plus size. So I don't have them with me, but we restocked the black and white florals. So those are in plus size. And then we've got, these ones are the, they're like a- Are those cherry blossoms? Yes, a Japanese cherry blossom. And they're just perfect for spring. And these come in the plus size too. So. Very excited about those. They're $19.95 for all the joggers. And then, because people have been begging, I have carried solid plus size joggers, but we have not had them in regular um, small to extra large. Oh. I'm gonna say regular, because plus size people are regular too. What, what can we say? Not plus, can we say minus? Like minus size? I don't know, whatever. Anyways, charcoal, 
These go small to extra large, and I believe we still have some solid black joggers in the plus size. So these are actually tighter fitting, right? Jeb, try them on. Jeb, Jeb, try on the joggers. Can't. I think that you could try on the, the wiener dogs. What size? Well, let's see what sizes we got. He, it's a, these are three X. Come on. I'm not trying those on. Come on! I'm, I'm dressed right now. Just, you, just, go, please? Nope. Do you see? Obey me. Nope. What? I'm dressed and I don't feel like okay. changing right now. We got these solids in. <laughs> Has nothing to do with wearing joggers, I'd do it, but. He doesn't feel like taking his pants off. Navy. And then you guys, we have Lehigh Purple. I didn't know when I ordered them if they'd be like Lehigh Purple, but guess what? They are. They're kind of an eggplanty, beautiful purple here. I wanted some solids because sometimes I like to wear a crazy top, so I wanted solid joggers to go in my crazy top. Oh, these are good. <laughs> Barbara says, good for you. <laughs> and then it happens. It happens a lot, actually. So if you guys haven't tried our joggers out, they all have drawstrings. They all have elastic waistbands. They're all buttery, buttery, buttery and pockets. soft. Pockets. Pockets in every single one. And they do have cuffs, but the cuffs do not have elastic. And that is why I like them, because I don't like it when your pants leave like a, a imprint on your ankle. And so these are really comfortable. And I love to sleep in them, because regular pajama pants will ride up when you sleep. But the joggers, because of the cuff, they're loose enough not to leave a mark, but tight enough that they don't ride up. So I love the joggers. Capes, I'm with Capes Cottage and Colonials. I'm with you. I, uh, I will go to a store. I'll buy everything I want, not try a single thing on. That's how I roll. Because I, who... I'm like, I'm like, that looks soft. Yeah, okay, let's take that one. That one looks soft. Lots of extra room in that one. If the pants are too tight, I'm out. Who returns all your clothes for you? No one does. Usually Who they just Who returns all your closet. clothes for you? <laughs> He's a little bit spoiled. In fact, the other day he was on the phone while we were shopping and I was like holding things up and he wouldn't get off the phone. I'm like, do you like this? It was a business I call. I was like your personal shopper. Do you like this? It was a business call. <laughs> all right, we showed you some bougie stuff. Let's show some budget items. I found the most darling throws. They come in four colors. That one is um, the dark gray. Mm -hmm. It's like a charcoal -y. I almost think like an old school. These are long. They're 50 by 70. Yep. And then we have a gray. This is like a skeleton key gray. Um, and you are supposed to Plus wash fringe. them when you get them. Who doesn't love fringe? And they got a little fringe on there. These are $18.95 for these. And then it comes in this color. I would call this like a khaki color, but it's taupe. So here's taupe. Um, and then a really great blue. Let's see what did they call this blue? Uh, navy. I would not call this navy. I would call this more of like a smoky dark blue. So it looks darker on camera than it is. But these are really pretty. They have the tassels. And $18.95, like, is a really good deal. So if you need to throw a blanket because you're cold, we will ship you one. All right. Or if you just want it to look awesome through the seasons on the edge of your couch or your chair. Christy's logged in today and she says she's here as me because it says Christy Elliott, not Jamie Ray Vintage. Thanks, Christy. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to show them one more thing. We are back. These have been out of stock. Our copper water bottles are back in stock. So I believe these are $29.95. They are solid copper um, and they've got like a little. Well, that one's not all bent up. Well, this one isn't mine. Jamie's dropped hers and dinged yeah, it and it's still going strong. When I first bought them, they were $39.95. Oops, sorry about the squeaky. Um, and then I searched everywhere and I found them a little cheaper. So these are $29.95 and they're beautiful. So we carry these Moscow Mule mugs, but someone asked because when you drink, if you have like a cold beverage out of the fridge or even like cold tap water, the copper is kind of conductive, like if the air's flowing or whatever in the room, it feels like it gets really, really cold when you're drinking it and even colder than when you put it in. Um, someone asked, does it do the same thing with heat? So obviously he it's gonna draw some heat, but if you wanna hold something warm while you're drinking it, like your cup gets warm super quick. And I tested it, the handle does not get too hot that it's uncomfortable if you're putting like a boiling liquid in there, so. The handle stays cool enough to Tested. hold. Tested. 
Test but it. I don't think it's going to get hotter because you put it in there. Does that make sense? Tested by Zev. I only drink water and milk. I like to call milk cow juice. All right, we promised them that we'd show them some things. Oh, yep. We're going to go look over here at the sheep head that's been restyled first. It looks, it looks mostly the same, but it's got some new uh, enamel wear up around it. I'm seeing uh, auger bags go out the door. So whoop, whoop. So this is the sheep's head. We, we do not carry this. Um, you got to face the camera. Oh, sorry. We do not carry this wreath, um, but we do carry this canister on the website. This is our small enamel canister. Um, and then these are just some French pieces. And this I actually got, you guys, I don't know if you know, Reclaimed by Ramsey. I got this cute little, is this like a teapot? I don't know. I'll bring it over here. Actually, no. Sorry, this is from France. This is Reclaimed by Ramsey. I got this cute little coffee pot from her. And so I put it next to my French um, pot here that I brought home. So I restyled this because we used to have, um, we used to have a Christmas wreath. So I got that down. And then we, of course, our dough bowl. We use it for everything. They can't, they can't see that. Oh, okay. This we always have our fruits and vegetables in, and obviously, apparently, Jesus neighbors neighbor gave us a gift for Valentine's Day, and they gave us a picture. Um, these are our chicken eggs. Aren't they cute from our little fluffy chickens? Um, They're and, doing work. Like we've been having to eat lots of eggs. Yeah. So this is the cute little wire baskets that we carry on the website. Love those. This is how we store our butter because you can fit two sticks in it and we go through two sticks in a couple of days. We sell these on the website too. These are the big glass mama jamma butter dishes. Um, let's see, what do we got styled over here? Oh, I moved over a single whole cheese mold. These are from the shop. Do I have a price tag on it still? Yep, $12.95. Have you guys ever propagated uh, fiddle figs? I read that if you just put them in water that they'll sprout roots and you can grow them so i want to see if that's true so that's what i'm doing there these are from france this is a charcuterie board that we make don't look at my dirty dishes this is my pot scrubber you guys i don't know if i told you this maybe i have the french soap that we sell on the website i use it for everything brushes like paint brushes washing my hands I don't know if you're supposed to, but I use them for dishes. Like this is such a great all-in-one soap and it works really well with paint brushes. And we used to sell a specific like paint pixie paint soap and it was more expensive and half as much. So if you guys want a good soap that's a, like you can wash your paint brushes and your hands with, I would definitely consider buying our French soap. It's well, it's good. pretty gentle on your hands too. Like yeah, Eliza washes her hands constantly and they don't get dry, super dried yeah, out. Yeah, it's quad milled. So it's just like the way they make soap in France is just amazing. This is our pot scrubber. I just store it on top of mine. Oops. You keep losing that pot scrubber. I know. Put the pot scrubber down. Um, I restyled it over here. Some of the stuff we sell, some of the stuff we don't. I like to keep my cups out. So these are Moroccan glasses. These are our copper... Um, this is where I keep, this is what we use for our syrup. These are our small copper pots. We don't sell these flowers. I think they came from Ikea. This is cute. It's my little vintage sheep. Um, we sell the seltzer bottles. We have this topiary. We carry these pots. Um, and then these are those new poppies that just came in that I'm obsessed with. And then this is one of our small French market baskets. I think this one is the Miami, if I remember correctly. And these, if you guys remember from the thrift haul a while back, I don't sell them online. These are actual antique turn of the century French silver. I paid like seven bucks for three of them and they're worth like a hundred ish dollars a piece. So I decided to keep them and display them. Um, this is from France. We sell these bundles. I think they're still on the website. These bundles are actually half off. So check out our half off collection. Oh, my mom was have walked by. Jane said hi. These are our Italian hermetic jars. These are made in Italy. They're like the most beautiful blue. If you really need to seal something up in those, they seal so good. So tight, and they have this great top on them. I love these. We also use them, sometimes I make a lot of syrup and I'll get a little extra, and these are perfect for gifting. Like if I wanna make extra syrup for somebody, I love the hermetic jars. We carry those. This is a little breadboard that we carry. We sold out of the dark stained ones. I'm trying to think. And then here's my KitchenAid, we don't sell that but we use it occasionally. I'd like to make more bread. Cookie jar. Mariah's bringing me over fresh cookies for my cookie jar. This is the one with the jade lids. 
You gave away two. Eliza needed. Uh, <laughs> Eliza needed. Uh, Don't tell them. Valentine's Day gifts for uh, for her teachers. And so Jamie's like, what do I got quick? So she dumped a bunch of candy in these. So I had two small ones and Eliza has a teacher and a student teacher. And she's like, I need one for each. So I dumped them out and I cleaned them. And then we store a lot of candy. Um, we store a lot of candy here. So it was no big deal. I just poured those chewy sweet tarts in them. And then I tied a little cute little baker's twine around them. Done. Oh, and I had some lip gloss from the shop that I hadn't opened yet. So I just threw that in there. It's always good to have extra decor because you never know when you need a gift. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything here. Yep, um, we were gonna show them. We can show them this area here. This is, so we get asked a lot about like plates and stuff. Like I didn't plan this, so I'm legit showing you. This is how we store it. These are all my cookbooks and then I use, we don't sell this color. This is my blue seltzer bottles. Um, only because I haven't been able to find them, but they hold up all my cookbooks. And then inside this one is my secret syrup recipe. If I see it missing, I know who's been in my house. We sell these bowls on the website. These are some of my favorite ones. Um, I don't think we have these anymore, but I, this, we've got to get more of these. Yeah. I love this. This is a little vintage measuring cup. I use that like every Sunday making waffles or pancakes. And then we have the enamel plates. We, carry, we do carry these on the website. This is some of my like uh, antique stoneware that I have that we use for stuff. These we don't sell, but if you have an Ikea by you, we love their white dishes. They don't pay me to tell you, but we actually donated all of our dishes and when we moved, I went to just white because they just pair really well, like with my blue Moroccan glasses or my copper cups or whatever, because it's just really pretty. Can we see my grandma's dishes? Yeah, we'll go there next. We're gonna right. go look right now. Right now. I'm not showing you the pants. You guys, I know there's stuff on top of the fridge, and I oh, know. Oh, you can show them some of this decor. I know I still need to uh, frame it out. So, <laughs> um, these are candlesticks we carry, and I'm trying to think if we can sell any of the other stuff that's up here. Probably not. Um, no, those corporals are the ones I made. I think it was those like an anniversary, anniversary corporals, corporals like are two or three years, years ago. Yep. All right, Grandma's dishes. Oh, this, while we're here, you guys can see my new spring display. Um, we're sold out of these, but these are lavender. Um, we do sell this cute little print here. This is the bunny. It says the bunny on the sheet, but we have determined it is a goat. Um, and it's like the antique barn wood. And these, I think I got originally from Ikea, but they pair really nicely with the pink poppies that we just got in. And then just some blue mason jars. We sell a lot of antique mason jars. So if you go into our antique vintage found collection, Sometimes you can find them. And these are my grandma's dishes. You guys want to see? Let me see if I can show them. I'm, I've got the whole tripod here carrying it around. Okay. So we actually carry a very similar pattern. Um, well, not carry, but we have some antique dishes. I think they're Hall Ironstone. And these are just really, really pretty. These are made in England. And then I have this bowl. Um, it's the Friendly Village. But if you're looking for a set similar to this, go to the Antique Vintage Found and I think look up the Hall collection. We have quite a few. And then these plates. I love, I've loved brown transferware so for a long time. these have been in a box since Farrington was five years old, getting moved around with us. And I opened them up the other day when we moved them over here and we hadn't, it had the tape on it and everything from when we originally started moving. Um, how pretty that is and I was like terrified that they would all be in pieces but they're in really they're good not. shape they're all in really great shape um, and I just love them and we will be using these dishes because they were my grandma's and they're really special to me and I've been saving this spot just to display them but I am going to put a shout out out there I have this is where I store my extras I have the sugar dish but it's missing the lid so if anybody has this pattern Hold on. Oh no, sorry. This is the pattern we have at the shop. We thought that maybe my sugar dish lid would fit it, but you can see that it does not. So if you like this, if you like this pattern, this one we have on the website. Sorry, Zeb brought it back to see if it would fit. Um, but we're missing the sugar dish to this collection. I have just the lid. I'll show you guys the, pat, the thing on the back. So if you happen to find the sugar dish, email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. No, the shipping should not be $14.95 on the joggers. Christy, if you're on here, can you take care of that? So, those are my grandma's dishes. 
I think that that's all we have. I think that's that wraps up the you mini tour. Horde. We all have that one. Your time. hoard. So this is where the windows are currently being stored from the other house because we haven't hung them up yet. Um, I forgot to show them my new athletic leggings. I'm wearing them. So Deb and I have been running. I'm actually wearing my uh, my Columbia snowshoes because we had snow this morning. But these are a dupe on. I can't say the name because I don't want to get in trouble. But it rhymes with Moo Moo Memon. These are a dupe on their $80 leggings. And I can tell you they're awesome. They come with a nice, wide, tall waistband. And they like come nice and tall in the top. And they are like snug and tight, holding everything in, which is what you want in a good athletic legging. These just came in and I think that they're $22.95. And you're probably gonna wanna get them if you want them because everybody at the shop was like, I'm gonna get them. Whenever we get good stuff, sometimes all the girls at the shop buy them. So they come only in navy, but I'll get a few more colors because I wanted to see if I like them and I've been wearing them all day and they've held up. So I'm excited and I'm glad they're not $80. And we're gonna go running tonight because we didn't go running this morning. John Dog, 6'3", 250. John, if you are 6'3", 250, I would say that your size would probably be 3X in the joggers that we wear because Zeb is 6'2", 230. I can wear him. And he can wear the 3X. So he's a good, he likes to test I mean, you say course. just kidding, but not kidding, you could wear those. Again, if you guys need something, like you're like, hey, I love this, but I can't find it in my size, I'm happy to look. I can actually get up to 5X in clothes, even though I don't carry them. So you, if you have a need, email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. Kayla will let me know and I will do everything I can to try to get that. It's kind of like how we got the plus size flower joggers. Somebody requested them and uh, I got it. So I do what I can. On the website, the navy leggings are 50% off. Um, they might be different than these ones, Donna, because these ones just went in. If they are 50% off, go fast before Christy fixes it. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's all we have for today. Mm -hmm. You got anything else? Little last, last, last minute peek of the turtle. Farewell, goodbye. Goodbye, little turtle. Thanks for joining us. Um, we will have an edited video out tomorrow. The garage is being finished. Um, and be sure, uh, let's see, my, no, my shirt is not on the website, sorry. And can you get athletic leggings in 3X? Leslie, I will see if they have them. If they do, I'll get them and we'll test them out. We're always testing things out to make sure they work. In fact, Zeb and I are going running this evening and we're gonna make sure these leggings stay up. But so far... We're gonna go get some mud on them because it snowed well. and it's cold. All right, love you guys. Hit up jrvhome.com for what you saw today um, and check out our new collections. Christie's did a rug collection. So all of the rugs um, that you've seen in our house and some that you maybe have not seen yet are on the website um, and they include free shipping any of them that are over 200 bucks so super excited about that be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to jamie ray vintage for more diy and leggings and turtle planters and places to lock up your treats lock up your treats people <laughs> bye guys